A glimpse of the future. Offshore wind parks are a main pillar of Germany's energy revolution, but doubts are already being cast on the feasibility of the plans. Power companies say they can't feed any more offshore electricity into the national grid, and politicians say opposition in coastal areas is growing. There's strong resistance and regular protests. There are nature conservation laws that prevent grid expansion, and that will lead to delays. Greens and conservation groups don't want offshore building in summer between April and October. But that's the only time the weather is relatively calm. You can't put up wind turbines in autumn or winter. There's a whole host of problems that need tackling. Germany wants out of nuclear energy, and fast. It was the nuclear disaster in Fukushima last March that changed everything, even for the previously nuclear-friendly coalition government in Berlin. Germany's reactors will be switched off one by one. The last one will go offline in 2022. Earlier in the week, at a party conference, Chancellor Merkel explained to fellow Christian Democrats why the U-turn on energy policy was right. The world changed through Fukushima. That's why we must abandon nuclear power as soon as possible. But the work is only just beginning. We must follow up our decision by showing we can make it work. That's what makes us different from the rest. We can show it can be done and not just say what we oppose. Hans-Joachim Ziesing is charged with monitoring progress towards a nuclear-free Germany. He's one of four experts appointed as a government advisor. He says so far there isn't much to do. There are no concrete things that could have an impact today. It always takes time after a law has come into effect. The implementation on the ground always comes a bit later. And while politicians remain optimistic that it'll all come together when it needs to, people are mobilizing against the new energy era. Many oppose nuclear power. At the same time, they don't want solar panels, wind turbines, high voltage power lines or biogas plants in their backyards. If I want renewable energy, free from CO2 emissions and no nuclear power, I have to live with the consequences. So I have to accept that new power lines will be built, that storage facilities will be built, that wind turbines might spoil my view, and that there will be biogas facilities that don't smell particularly nice. I have to accept that these things are going to happen. Until now, Germany has generated just over 40% of its energy from coal, around 20% from nuclear. Natural gas has the third biggest share. Renewables are fourth with 17%. But the energy mix is set to change radically. By 2050, the aim is to generate 80% from renewables and the rest from natural gas. Currently, nuclear reactors deliver more than a fifth of Germany's electricity needs without producing CO2 emissions. But the last of them will be taken offline in 11 years' time. Doubts are growing that renewables can fill the void. Initially, we're going to need more coal. We've got coal-fired power stations. There's enough capacity, but there aren't very efficient power plants. We have to be frank about that. They emit more CO2. And it's very doubtful we'll be able to achieve our CO2 reduction targets in the way we'd planned to. We don't have to go with coal. We have to avoid coal. Because that's the problem. If we expand coal, we'll have a massive problem with our climate change goals. We won't achieve them. So we have to make sure we focus on emissions-free and low-emissions technology. And in terms of fossil fuels, that means natural gas is clearly one of the main priorities. 
Nuclear power is heading for the history books in Germany. Coal could fill the gap in the meantime, but that would mean sacrificing emissions targets. The road to renewables will be a long and difficult one.